It's been named Best Folk Group by BBC Radio two years in a row, and now all the way from Teesside, England, the youngins are on a tour in North America. They've got a new album out called The Ballad of Johnny Longstaff, and it's described as a unique piece of modern folk theater. The trio is here in studio now to perform their song, The Great Tomorrow. There's a song sang upon the mountain, and there's a song upon the sea. There's a song sang in unison and a song in harmony. And there's a song sang in every tombra and in 47 tongues. 30,000 voices are all singing our song. And the more of us who learn to sing it then, the sooner there will be peace beneath the branches of the lime and olive tree. From mine and mill and field and shipyard, from behind the company door. From the plain fields of Eton to the warrens of the poor. From Helsinki to Buenos Aires, our reasons are the same. From Melbourne to Vancouver, now we have come to Spain. For if you sing a song of freedom, then it does not matter where. If your song is freedom, then you sing it everywhere. There are some of our number who've known the pain of war. And there are some of our number who have never fought before. But there are none of our number would think it were in vain to leave their warm blood spilled upon the dry hot soil of Spain. And if I end up on that roll of honour, I'll be in good company. If there's peace beneath the branches of the lime and olive tree. One day there will be no fascist and no anti-fascist men. One day there'll be no us, and one day there'll be no them. For equality is for everyone, no matter what we've done. The sins of our fathers will not ever harm our sons. And there will come a great tomorrow for everyone to see. Peace beneath the branches of the lime and olive tree. But if all our dreams are sold and bartered, and if all our names are lost, and if everything we fought for crumbles into dust, they will never take from me the love I felt that day. I went because my open eyes could see no other way. And if I live to be 100, make this my legacy. Peace beneath the branches of the lime and olive tree. Yes, if I live to be 100, make this my legacy. Peace beneath the branches of the lime and olive tree. Woo! <laughs> Come on over, you guys. That cannot be easy first thing in the morning, a cappella. Thank you so Have much. a seat. Margaret. It's great to yeah. see you, Sean, David, and Michael. Oh, thank uh, you. It's great to you see you guys. If you didn't like us, you wouldn't let us sit on the sofa. So <laughs> <laughs> right. I'd say stay over there. We're we'll yeah, going to break. Yeah. We'll Not come back later. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an accomplishment. Um, so. Acapella is not what you normally do, right? But obviously, you do a ton of harmonizing. How did you guys meet and find each other to sing together? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it is it is in the main it, it is it is what we do, and part of the reason um, we do it is because one night when we were all teenagers, we were seventeen years old, we discovered quite by accident uh, singing what seemed to us like strange singing coming out of the back room of a pub in the north of England. It was singing unlike any other we'd heard before. People singing without instruments 
in accents that we knew, English, yeah. Northern English accents. Yes. We didn't know you could sing songs in your own voice. <laughs> it just, it, you know, we grew You don't up have with to it. have the plummy, the queen. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the American uh, style, you sure know, is. we saw ubiquitous as well. What is ubiquitous? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was just a revelation. And the, the people in that room uh, had met in that room for 40 years. And uh, when they welcomed us so warmly, and because we were younger than them considerably, uh, they gave us the name that night, the young ones, the young ones. Oh, that makes great sense. Yeah. They wanted to see you carry forward some of the traditional sounds and, mm. and messages. That's right, but unfortunately... Um, unfortunately, they gave us the worst name in uh, yeah. music history. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's a and good yet story. You've, perse you've persevered, <laughs> and here you yeah. are all the same. So obviously a message to that song. Is that an old song, a new song? What's on the album? It's a new song with an old tune, and, and the album is celebrating this wonderful hero from the north of England who, who, was, who was unknown to us until recently. It came about quite, quite beautifully, really. We did a concert about four years ago in the south of England, and an old man came over to us after the show with a picture, a picture of a, a scruffy-looking teenager from the 1930s, and he said, that was my dad. And he had this other piece of paper with him, which was filled with information, a checklist of some of the defining moments of political struggle in the 1930s and 40s. And he said, and that's what my dad did. I think you should write a song. And we thought, wow. It was, we, were get, we were being entrusted with this man's memory. And, and three years down the line, I think we had no idea that it wouldn't just be one song, it would be 16 songs in a whole theatre show as well. Which is just so um, marvellous. And just explain for Americans who maybe don't know the difference, what, what is the traditional understanding of the difference between the North and the South of England? <laughs> well, that's a big question. The North is better. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a lot of um, friendly banter, as we call it. But, I mean, our, our area is, 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 uh, has suffered, uh, you know, since the Second World War, really. You know, we're in industrial heartlands, which were completely... Uh, pulled apart really and, and great sort of long-lasting problems but but also an, a tremendous sense of pride and, and community and, and that hopefully comes across through, through these great songs that and I just think it's great as well to share where you come from you know share songs about where you come from not because you're better than anywhere else or anything like that just because you know there are our songs there they belong to us and mm -hmm. we'd like to hear your songs from Seattle, so if you want to go now, Margaret. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be breaking out in song any moment. Uh, well, we do have rain in common, a fair amount of rain. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the music is, is lovely. Thank you guys so uh, much thank for you being very here. Much. The thank youngins you. are performing this Friday, October 25th at 7.30 p.m. at New Traditions Cafe and Fair Trade Gallery in Olympia. We have a link to tickets on New Day's website so you can find them easily. Up next, Halloween costumes are not just for humans, but they're for the critters as well. We've got great DIY ideas for you after this.